Our athletes are always told they can't. The Special Olympics is the place they come to be told they can. Good afternoon and welcome to our virtual Summer Games broadcast, the first and, as we all hope, the last virtual Summer Games broadcast. My name is Charles Hirsch. Uh, before we get started, I introduce my co-host today. I just want to give uh, a quick shout out to everybody who participated in virtual Summer Games. You will uh, take a look at the bottom of the screen here and uh, you will be able to watch uh, your name scroll by. That's our honor roll of everybody who participated with what program they're from. Um, so without further ado, I'd like to introduce my good buddy, my co-host for today, Mr. Mike Kelly. What's up, everybody? This is Mike Kelly here. Uh, today, we're actually going to get a shot to show our athletes have, that have been competing in our virtual summer games challenges from home. So along with that, we also want to give some shout outs to some of our, our partners and volunteers who have supported and most importantly have been uh, giving our outstanding support to our, our virtual opportunity here. We know it's been really tough having to stay apart from your friends, from your teammates, stay off the playing field and, and, and maintain social distance. Um, and we, we obviously all look forward to a time when we can get back on the field and play together. Uh, but thank you guys for doing your part, staying healthy, staying safe, and, uh, and obviously for competing in this year's challenges. Yes, definitely, indeed. I mean, last night we managed to hand out our virtual opening ceremony with remarks from our Special Olympics Mass President and CEO, Ms. Mary Beth McMahon. Not to mention, of course, we had uh, some very good uh, torch handoff from our Special Olympics Chairman, Mr. Tim Shriver, and also the cauldron lighting. So let's see if we can take a look at that in just a minute. Awesome. And yeah, just uh, another, another great uh, highlight from last night was having Special Olympics athlete and, and Special Olympics Massachusetts Hall of Famer Amanda Church as Mary Beth's co-host. Really cool to see uh, that dynamic duo back at it again. All right, Mr. Shriver, take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, dignitaries, sponsors, volunteers, family members, and most of all, Special Olympics athletes. That's the way I'd start any typical opening ceremonies moment by thanking everyone assembled, but we're not assembled. So it feels strange, but the heart and the emotion is still there to each of you who will now begin this virtual world of competition and training and connection and celebration. I say thank you from all of us in this extraordinary worldwide movement. I bring you greetings all over the world. Your brothers and sisters in this movement are preparing to compete today, tomorrow, and in the days ahead. We will not stop our commitment to our mission. We will not cease from preparing for the day we come back together. We will come through this with the strength of our athletes and we will be brave in every attempt. So to each of you, as we prepare to open these games right now in the midst of this pandemic, I wish you bravery, I wish you victory, I wish you gold medals. And for those of you who don't actually get a chance to have the medal around your neck, I remind you that we are all together in triumph, not just over disease, but over division as well. Let the games begin. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mike Wynn, and I'm the Chief of Police here in my hometown, the city of Pittsfield. This year, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this virtual law enforcement torch run of the Flame of Hope. Next year, the city of Pittsfield will be the starting place for the statewide Commonwealth Law Enforcement Torch Run that will begin here and make its way to Boston for the 2021 Special Olympics Summer Games. My officers and I are proud and excited of the support that we have and the, uh, the partnership we have with Special Olympics Massachusetts, and we look forward to welcoming all the athletes and their families here to the city of Pittsfield to begin next year's Law Enforcement Torch Run. From here, the torch will begin its journey across the Commonwealth to Boston by traveling from here to Springfield, Massachusetts, where it will be received by Commissioner Cheryl Claprood of the Springfield PD. Here you go, Commissioner. Thank you, Chief Wynn. We are truly excited to welcome the law enforcement torch run to Springfield in June 2021. Our officers will show our support and take part as the flame of hope makes its way across the Commonwealth on the way to the Special Olympics Massachusetts Summer Games in Boston. Springfield has always been a big supporter for the Special Olympics and we are committed to our inclusion for community members with intellectual
intellectual disability. From Western Mass to Central Mass, next stop for the torch, Worcester, over you, Chief Sergeant. Call over. Thank you, Springfield, for supporting the Special Olympics. We at the Worcester Police Department and all our officers support the Special Olympics. God bless the Olympians. God bless Worcester. Commissioner Gross, this is for you. Turn it over to you, and uh, God bless the men and women of the Worcester of the Boston Police Department. And, uh... Hello, everyone. Boston Police Commissioner William G. Gross here a proud supporter of the Special Olympics. We're proud to announce that in June 2021, we'll be hosting the opening summer games for the Special Olympics. Here's how we're gonna start out. We're gonna start out in Pittsfield, carrying the flame of hope. I mean, we're gonna go to Springfield and then to Worcester and then to Harvard Stadium here in Boston, where Mayor Walsh, in support of the men and women of the Boston Police Department, and with our great city of Boston, we'll host the opening summer games for the Special Olympics, the Law Enforcement Torch Run. And as well, to my brothers, Chief DG and Chief Pierce, thank you for your leadership for this great cause. Let the games begin. Hi, I'm Bob Sweeney from the Bruins. Let the games begin. Hi, it's Hardy from 98.5 The Sports Hub, and I'm here to say one thing. Let the games begin. Wow. Well, I got to say, Charles, I mean, that was a good way to kick off our annual summer games. And before we get any further to our competition, we want to actually recognize some people who have actually shown their support to our athletes and spread the word across our inclusion from Massachusetts. We want to thank to... Arbella Insurance, the Bank of America, Geico, also the, Bro the Boston Bruins Foundation, uh, not to mention, of course, the New England Revolution, as well as 98.5, the Sports Hub. Yeah, absolutely. Those guys have all been a huge help in, uh, in keeping us going year-round. And also, uh, as you just saw, we had some, uh, some help from our professional sports partners uh, in, in declaring the games open last night. That was really cool to see. It's like to have them involved. Uh, now... Uh, maybe a moment most of you have been waiting for. Uh, it's the time to, to actually start watching some of the action. First up, uh, we have the 10-meter walk, run, or roll. Set. And now some Special Olympics trivia presented by Geico Insurance, a proud partner of Special Olympics Massachusetts and a sponsor, a very proud sponsor of the 2020 virtual summer games. So trivia from Geico.
Ryan from Deloitte. I uh, just wish you the best with your summer games. Hope you all achieve your personal records. And I uh, just want to say hi to everybody. Hi, this is Catherine from Deloitte, and I wanted to congratulate you on all your accomplishments throughout the year, both as teams and individuals. Your hard work's truly paid off. Today, we celebrate you. Awesome stuff. Great competition out there. Uh, it was really cool to see uh, some, some shout outs from our partners over there at Deloitte. Thank you, Deloitte, for all you've done uh, for Special Olympics Massachusetts. Uh, but Mike, what'd you think of that competition? I honestly got to say we had a lot of hardworking athletes out there. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, did you even see Callan Gallagher doing that 10 meter run with that soccer ball? I mean, that part at the end, I got to say that has got to be such a great one right there. I mean, it's yeah, a good exercise. Absolutely. I, you know, I think uh, just the, the, the 10 meter run by itself is, is one thing. And then you add a soccer ball into it. Uh, that's a whole nother challenge. Maybe, maybe we'll have to keep that in the back of our minds for the fall. Yeah, I think we definitely will. <laughs> nice. Speaking of exercise, I uh, don't want to forget there's a virtual dance tonight via Zoom at 7 o'clock. Uh, you need to uh, pre-register for that, so be sure to reach out to your coach or local program coordinator to get involved with the dance tonight. I know that's usually a big, big part of everyone's summer games weekend, getting out there and, and busting a move, so uh, check in with your coach for that. Uh, but up next, uh, we're going to take another look at some competition. And uh, we've, got, uh, we've got the 50-meter walk, run, or roll coming up. And I think we've got a special guest who is going to, uh, to introduce this challenge for us. On your mark. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us for our virtual summer games. My name is Rachel Chulock and I am the Schools and Events Coordinator for Special Olympics Massachusetts. Today, I have the pleasure of interviewing one of our virtual summer games athletes. So our first question is, what is your name and what school are you from? Hi, I'm Anna and I am part of Natick High School. Thanks Anna. Our next question for you is how long have you been competing in Special Olympics? Um, 11 years. Wow, 11 years? That's awesome. Now, Anna, you decided to do the ball throw challenge for your virtual summer games. Why did you pick that event? Um, because I like throwing the ball. That's great. Speaking of Special Olympic events, what are your goals for future events? Because I want to do better at the 50 meter dash. Anna, thank you so much and congratulations on your virtual summer game accomplishments. We can't wait to see you and the rest of the Special Olympics community back on the playing field soon. Oh, that was fun to hear from Anna, learn about her experience with Special Olympics. Uh, I didn't realize she'd been participating for 11 years. So pumped she got to be part of virtual summer games. Yeah, especially, I mean, being in that number of years, it's got to be one thing. I mean, that's really cool to learn. I mean, there's so many opportunities with Special Olympics and many ways to get involved, like with the New England Revolution Unified team, as we'll say. The guys from the New England Revolution actually sent our athletes some high fives recently to show their support for when, uh, for when they get back on the playing field. Uh, not only the Revs, but also the folks over at 98.5 The Sports Hub, including Big Jim Murray, uh, <coughs> the, the folks at Geico, as well as Deloitte. Uh, some really great partners who sent over high fives, just showing their, their support and solidarity in this, uh, in this time where we couldn't actually be competing and getting real high fives. So big shout out to them and thanks so much. Well, I've got to say, Charles, I mean, those are some really good high fives we got there. I mean, I heard we got over exactly 500 high five submissions right there. Am I right? Yeah, it's crazy. We got over 500 high fives sent our way. 
which is really cool to see. Uh, we weren't sure if it was going to be five or 10 or 100. To be at 500 is just absolutely amazing. So uh, we want to thank everybody who took part in that campaign. Uh, we're kind of wrapping it up now, but, uh, but just wanted to once again say thank you to all of our partners, all the individuals, all the volunteers, coaches, athletes, <coughs> selling, sending fellow athletes high fives. Uh, it was just such an awesome thing to see. I was lucky enough to see the emails coming in every time a high five came in. And, and uh, it was just uh, it was awesome to, to see that hit in my email inbox throughout the day. So really cool. Thanks, everybody. Yes, I mean, they've been great partners all around, and it sounds like they've been able to continue their support throughout Special Olympics here in the state, especially at their homes. Actually, giving and getting high fives is definitely one of my favorite parts of the competition because I'm glad I'm able to share some high fives, even from home. So what do you like about the summer games, Charles? Well, honestly, one of my favorite things uh, every year over at Harvard is to watch tennis. Uh, I can't wait to see uh, how the athletes do in our tennis challenge, which is coming up uh, later on today. We'll share those highlights. Well, you're actually in luck, Charles, because that will be taking part in our two o'clock broadcast that we have, which also includes the squats. It also includes the push-ups, the tennis ball throw, not to mention the tennis ball throw on the racket. So be sure to join us here and check it out. But for now, let's take a look at the our most, actually our closing out one is the 100 meter walk, rum, or roll. So let's see if we can take a look at that. Yep, well done, huh? Boom and done. That's all the time we have for this morning. That was some awesome competition. So excited to be getting uh, virtual summer games underway. Uh, we will be back at 2 o'clock uh, for our next broadcast. And then remember, we'll be back for our third and final broadcast at 4 o'clock. Once again, just want to shout out uh, a ton of our, our partners and our sponsors, uh, New England Revolution, Boston Bruins Foundation, 98.5 The Sports Hub. Uh, we've got our friends from Deloitte who, who gave a shout out today, Geico. Uh, Bank of America, who is a longtime partner. Uh, we couldn't do what we do without their, their help and their work. Uh, Arbella Insurance, uh, another year-round partner who, who is incredibly supportive. Um, and, uh, and, of course, our virtual summer games uh, sponsor is, uh, is Geico. Uh, thanks to them for, for, uh, for helping us out, uh, especially with sharing their gecko with us. Uh, any closing words, Mike? Uh, honestly, we want to say we hope to see you guys at our next coverage at 2 o'clock. Until then, stay active. Being, show inclusivity, and most importantly, show and obviously raise awareness for, out, for all of our Special Olympic athletes. So alongside my co-hosts, Charles Hirsch and Mike Kelly, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time.